Hello there, Royal folks. This is Ben, and welcome back to Untold Royal Secrets, where we unravel the juiciest royal secrets and expose the controversial truths that the media doesn't want you guys to know about. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to dive deep into the mind-boggling world of Prince Harry and his tumultuous journey alongside Meghan Markle. Now, before we start, let me make one thing very clear. I'm not here to bash Harry or Meghan. I'm here to dissect their choices and actions and bring you guys the unfiltered truth about what's really happening behind the royal curtain. So grab your tea, sit back and let's get to it. But before we dive into that cringeworthy moment, if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I've got plenty more royal family revelations coming your way and you won't want to miss them. So, oh Harry. What have you done? It's been a wild ride since you decided to tie the knot with Meghan. And as much as we want to believe that you're living your best life in sunny California, the signs are there, my friends. The signs that Harry might be regretting the day he said, I do. Now, I know some of you may have been swept away by the fairy tale romance of a prince and a Hollywood starlet, but let's take a step back and see the bigger picture. Invictus Games, the brainchild of Prince Harry, is undoubtedly a fascinating achievement. It's his crowning glory, a legacy that he should be proud of, but guess what? It's the only card he's got left to play. While Harry is out there basking in the glory of Invictus, his brother William and sister-in-law Kate are expanding their royal empire. They're hiring CEOs, meeting with world leaders, and scaling up their philanthropic efforts. They're setting the bar higher and higher, leaving Harry in the dust. But here's the kicker, folks. Harry has chosen a different path. He's become a working man just like you and me. He's writing books, producing documentaries, and even talking about interviewing Vladimir Putin. Good luck with that one. He's attending meetings with executives named Brad and Thad, dealing with corporate jargon and trying to make it in the ruthless world of Hollywood. And... The truth is, he's not particularly good at it. Sure, his books spare sold like hotcakes, but his other ventures like Live to Lead and Heart of Invictus fell flat on their faces. Even Spotify, the platform that signed a big deal with Harry and Meghan, called them effing grifters when they struggled to deliver the content. So what's the point here? Well, it's not just about Harry's career woes, it's about his happiness. Take a look at the Harry in Germany, folks. He's carefree, he's gleeful, and he's in his element. But can he find the same joy in producing rom-coms on Netflix or discussing audience synergy with corporate suits? You see, Harry's life is a balancing act, and it's a precarious one. He's torn between the world of royalty and the glitz of Hollywood. He's trying to find his footing. But it's not easy, and let's not forget that even the success of Spare and Harry and Meghan are one-time wonders. They can't be replicated. So as we celebrate the success of this year's Invictus Games, let's also ponder Harry's future. Can he keep up with the relentless demands of his new career? Will he find the true happiness in the world he's chosen? And most importantly, can he ever top the legacy of Invictus? So what's your take on this, guys? Let us know in the comments, and we'll see you next time for more royal news and analysis.